In this video, I'm going to show you how to make hoop earrings with a narrow pattern plate from Potter USA. Here I have one of our narrow pattern plate designs and a piece of 18 gauge sterling silver that has been annealed. I've set the tension of the rolling mill to be tight enough to pick up the pattern, but not so tight that it's going to distort the metal or ruin my pattern plate. Here I'm rolling the metal through for my impression. You can see I got a nice impression on my silver and my pattern plate looks just fine. If you roll the metal through too tight, you can leave an impression on your pattern plate. My next step is to saw off the excess silver. I needed to start with a slightly larger piece because the metal doesn't always roll through perfectly straight. So here you can see I'm just using my jeweler saw to remove that excess metal from my blank of metal here. I've sawn off one edge and now I need to flip it over, saw the other edge and file off any um, irregularities and smooth those edges out. So I'm starting with a coarse file and then I'll move to sandpaper. Once my piece is properly finished, I'm ready to bend it. Here I'm using the Potter USA Quick Form Press, which is perfect for bending textured metal that you don't want to mar. The formers are made of a hard plastic called Delrin, and so they're not going to leave any tooling marks on my nice patterned silver. If you don't have this tool, you can also use a nylon mallet and a ring mandrel. So you can see how I'm starting to bend this round. And even though this material is fairly thick, it's bending very easily and I'm not getting any tool marks on my texture. So I'm going to continue just bending this all the way around. And this tool works best if you work in small sections. So bend it a little bit, move it just a tiny bit forward, bend again, keep working your way in small little areas. And then I'm gonna stop here. I want a slightly straight area for the end of my hoop where I'm gonna solder my post on. And this metal is a little bit longer than I need it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a little bit of excess, leaving that straight side. Okay, and I've cut the end off and now I'm just going to file and shape a little bit more on the very ends of my hoop earring. So I'm using the flat edge of a file, and then I'm just going to slightly, ever so slightly round the corners so that they're not sharp. And I'm gonna do this on all four corners on both ends of the hoop. And then after using the file, I'll switch to um, sanding to smooth out those file marks. I usually find it's easier to finish as I go, meaning filing and sanding, rather than waiting until the very end. Here I'm using a PSA sanding disc from uh, Rio Grande. It's just an adhesive sandpaper that fits onto a special mandrel in the flex shaft and it speeds up the sanding process. So I'm just smoothing out, rounding those corners, and now I'm going to um, get ready to solder this little post onto the end of my hoop earring. So it's just gonna go right on that straight edge. I have my hoop set up in my third hand here. I'm gonna put a little bit of flux on the end that I'm soldering, and I'm also gonna dip my post earring in the flux. Setting up a brick here to set my post on, and I'm gonna get a little piece of solder ready. I'm using hard solder. And then I'm ready to get this all soldered together. So I'm gonna go ahead and light the torch and start heating up my post. I find that I get a cleaner solder join if I flow the solder to the post first. And then all I have to do is heat this large piece up get it really nice and hot, close to the flow temperature of the solder. Once it's thoroughly heated, I will move my post over here and connect it with the hoop, and then um, just continue to heat the hoop up until the solder flows between the two pieces. So 
So you can see how I'm just touching that to the end of the hoop. It's a little wobbly because I'm working around the camera. Um, but I can just go ahead and heat this and get it hot enough for the solder to flow from the post to the hoop itself. And as soon as the solder flows, you want to pull the torch away. And then I'm going to pickle and clean it. And I've even gone ahead and used a Black Max patina on here. And I'm going to remove the, the patina from the high surfaces with a Pro Polish pad. This is just a mildly abrasive polishing pad from Rio Grande. You could also use a sanding sponge or a fine sandpaper, something like that. So I'm just hitting the patina off the high spots and then I'll use a polishing cloth to brighten things up and that's it. That's how you can use one of our narrow mill pattern plates to make a simple hoop earring. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel and our site for more helpful information.